Hi everyone, it's Miss Kyla. I'm so glad you guys are here to do art today. We are gonna do a peacock project. Some of you guys started this one but didn't get to finish, so it'll be a fun one for you to do with your family at home. All you will need for this project is a coffee filter, three markers, green, purple, and blue, a body for your peacock, legs for your peacock. I used two sticks, but you could also make it out of paper. I decided to use some sequins to decorate the feathers. This is not needed. Um, I also used two toothpicks. I know a lot of you guys probably don't have these at home, so if you don't, you don't need to do this step. And two eyeballs, but you could also you draw your eyeballs on if you don't have googly eyes at home. The next step is to color your coffee filter. So you're gonna wanna put as much color on here as you can so the colors will spread out. I like to use stripes, but you can draw circles, you can draw a picture, just as long as you get lots of color on here. So that's what mine's looking like so far. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple. You can really take your time on this if you want, or you can just quickly color it. Either way works. Now I have all three colors on there. I'm gonna put a little around the outside edge to make sure I get some purple. The more blue that you use, the more that'll show up. Perfect. The next step of the project is to use a squirt bottle or a spray bottle to spray your coffee filter so the colors will bleed. I didn't have a spray bottle, so I poured a little bit of water on it and that looks like it's gonna work fine as well. So once the water's on there, it's gonna be kind of wet and soggy, so we're just gonna let it dry out. Can set it outside to dry for a few minutes. Um, this is a good time to take a break and go do something else for a little bit and come back to it. All right. Once your coffee filter is completely dry, you can move on to the next step, which is adding the body and the eyes. So you can cut out your body and go ahead and glue it to your coffee filter. You're gonna to wanna to make the coffee filter stick up a little bit because it's its feathers. Here, I'll show you once I got it glued. I found the best way for the eyes and the body to stick is using a hot glue gun. If you don't have this at home, you could probably get by with normal glue, but this is how I found it to stick the best. Okay, put his eyes on real quick. All right, so there's my peacock with his feathers. Um, the next step, to add legs. Don't want to put them at the bottom of the peacock. I use two sticks, but you can go ahead and use paper for legs. You can draw legs on however you would like to do it. Right, there's his little legs. And the rest of it is optional at this point. It looks pretty good as a peacock. Um, I'm gonna add some sequins to his feathers. some blue and green ones that I found. I'm use with a couple sequins. And then I do have some toothpicks that you can use for a head crest. You don't have to use these if you don't want. They just add a little bit. This is how we were going to do them in class. Okay, and then you add a little hot glue. And then I'm gonna stick him on the back of his head. And there we have it. All right, here's my final peacock. I'm really proud of how he turned out and I'm sure if you guys did it at home, it turned out great too. I'd love to see some pictures if you guys completed this project. Until then, you guys be safe and I'll talk to you all again soon.